Greetings guys, gals, non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. Today we are back once again with a classic bad woman's anatomy, but we have combined it with another classic, not how girls work. And it's the now the mesh, the interwoven cesspit of fun. But before I get started, I would like to say thank you to today's sponsor, Cheeks, and I will tell you more about them a little bit later on. If you were revamping the human body and were to give boobs an actual useful function instead of just sex appeal, what would you have them do? I have to believe, for my own peace of mind, I have to believe this is a joke. Because there is no way a human person sat down, thought that, typed it, read it, and then posted it without joking. There's not a chance that this isn't a joke. Newsflash, every part of the human body serves a function of some sort. Literally every single part. And boobs, contrary to your belief, are actually one of the most important parts in which we would all be dead without them. So this person is in a human anatomy class at uni. Is it kind of ridiculous that in my human anatomy class, they censor parts of the body? It seems a bit ridiculous to see me seeing as we are literally studying those specific parts. And it's a human anatomy class where they're studying the reproductive system of humans and they have censored boobs, uh, vagina, and penis has been all censored because we don't want to see we don't want to see any of that that's disgusting in our human anatomy class we were talking specifically about them where it's literally listed on the side we don't want to see it only talk about it follow up for those asking yes literally every picture of the human body is censored he said today that it's because there are freshmen in this class and they aren't ready to see these things till they're older or till they're further in their major and then this person commented, but they're old enough to be married. These people are all over 18. This is a uni- this is a university class. And even if it wasn't, children need to be aware- They have. you- do they know they have bodies? Do you know children have bodies? And they've been exposed to bodies their whole entire lives? And you should teach children what bodies look like from a very young age? Like, young children- should be shown diagrams and taught about what the body is and how it works. In intermediate school, we literally had pictures of like people at different stages in their lives and we had to trace them. Do you remember doing that? Yeah, I do remember doing that. They're just bodies. There's nothing inherently sexual about bodies, especially in an anatomy class where you're learning how bodies function. That's not sexual. And if you're saying that's pornographic, that's really fucking weird. That's super weird. Does the Catholic Church allow me to be on birth control? This this is going to be really difficult to follow. Does the Catholic Church allow me to have birth control? Are you having sex? Yes. Uh, which leads to, are you married? Which leads to, yes. Is your birth control taken for medical reasons? And then if you go yes again, is the medical reason heavy periods? And then no. Have you gotten a second opinion? No. You should. Or yes. Third opinion? No, you should. Yes. Ask your priest. Do your own research. Basically, that's just one route that you can follow. But basically, every single one ends in ask your preach or hit the gym. I like that they ask, have you tried losing weight? And if you answer yes, they just say, I'll ask again. Have you tried losing weight? And then the only other outcome you can get is saying no. And then they tell you to hit the gym, which is fucked up in itself. I do love the graphic design of this post though. It is quite incredible. I like the girl power in the middle because that's what this post oozes. It oozes girl power. That's a gross word. I don't care if the Catholic Church allows me to take birth control. Obviously, I'm not Catholic. But if you are Catholic, I still highly encourage you take birth control. Do what is good for you and what's going to work for you. And yeah, I don't think it's worth bringing a child into this world when you're not ready for it just because your priest told you that you had to. You can't take birth control, but you also aren't allowed access to an abortion. And also, we don't want to give you comprehensive sex education because you're not allowed to learn about sex. And also, we're not going to show you the human body in anatomy class. No bodies. Bodies are illegal. Seeing them, illegal. Touching them, illegal. 
get pregnant and die. <laughs> While we're on this topic, I'm gonna take a moment to talk about something slightly related, and that is today's sponsor, Cheeks. Cheeks is a subscription-based sexual wellness platform, and each member gets access to authentic adult films and tutorials, erotic audio stories, expert-led workshops on sexual wellness, and a taboo-breaking magazine. You can pay monthly or yearly, because paying for your content is important. <laughs> Everyone involved is of age, which you'd think would be implied, but unfortunately sometimes isn't consenting to everything that they are participating in, including signing contracts, which they decide what they're comfortable with doing and they will never be asked to do anything outside of what they have signed for. They are also under an act of having fair pay and fair treatment within the workplace. So they'll only do things that they're comfortable with and they will be paid fairly for the work that they do. And that is why it is so important to pay for your content because you are directly helping to support people in this industry who are doing their jobs who need to be paid because this is capitalism it's capitalism we got to pay the people who are working for us and they're working very hard for us not only all of this but cheeks also have a focus on diversity so they try to be as diverse as they can within their content so there is something for everyone and there is representation for pretty much everyone so they have a whole range of content with people of different sexualities ethnicities body types as well as different circumstances. So there's like from anywhere from like vanilla to super intense with props, etc. Sex work is work and we need to support those who are in this field because as I said, this is capitalism and people do this for a living. Regardless of what the motivation is for them to be doing this work, this is what they are doing in order to support themselves. And so if you are going to be using this content, it is good to know who is being supported by this and what you are supporting. And going through a site such as Cheeks is an incredible way to make sure that people whose content you are consuming are getting paid and treated fairly and equally and are in a safe environment because we need to work on this career path being a more safe and enjoyable environment for everyone involved. To get all of this is only £14.90 every month or with an annual subscription, it is £9.90 a month. But with my code Savannah, you will get access to Cheeks for free for 14 days when you sign up with an annual subscription. If you feel like it is not for you, then you can cancel any time during those 14 days or you can switch to a monthly subscription. Thank you so much Cheeks for supporting this video and I highly recommend you go check it out. Why will doctors and ultrasound techs refuse to do vaginal exams and ultrasounds on a virgin even if they say they are sexually active with themselves? I'm a 22 year old female. I've had a ton of reproductive health issues from extreme period cramps to no periods for years, horrible pelvic pain, etc. I recently had exploratory laparoscopic surgery to find out that if I have endometriitis, I do not, but I am confirmed to have PCOS. I've never had sex with men. I've masturbated for years. I started young buying dildos early. I now am up to nearly bad dragon sized toys, which are insane. This being said, I'm sure I have absolutely no pain with inserting a normal sized medical device like a speculum or ultrasound wand into myself. If I tell doctors and ultrasound techs this, they still refuse to do internal tests and exams. Why? I finally had to lie and unfortunately cannot be honest from here on out with medical professionals about this because I want accurate and in-depth results. I've had to redo tests and exams because they refuse to do the internal ones. I find it ridiculous. I can't advocate for my own health simply because they want a man's penis to be in me first. I choose not to be sexually active with men. I don't trust because I value my health more than the possibility of getting STIs. I can't believe the way that women are treated in the medical field, especially when it comes to reproductive health. Like we've all had stories and the fact that in a lot of places in order to get a hysterectomy, you have to get a permission slip signed by your husband in order to say that they are chill with you having that procedure done, even though men don't need that to get a vasectomy because misogyny, women have to be mothers, but men don't need to be fathers because that makes sense. Even if she hadn't like used dildos or inserted anything in her vagina before, it shouldn't matter if a medical procedure needs to take place in order to get better results. You should just do it. It seems like really unethical to deny someone of a medical procedure that could benefit them 
just because you want to sexualize them and think that they don't own their own bodies. And I know that this probably doesn't happen in all practices. Not all doctors are like this. Blah, blah, blah. But the fact that any of them are like this, they shouldn't be doctors. Take the medical license away from them. Fuck them. So much misogyny happens within the medical field. And it's fucking awful. It's so fucked up. Like, the fact that, like, most things are only tested on men and then they don't work for women. Or the fact that, like, women weren't really diagnosed with ADHD or autism for the longest amount of time because it was only ever tested and viewed on men because of the way that society pushes women to mask and the expectations and stuff like that. It's ridiculous. It really needs to change. And whoever this doctor is, I hope they lost their job. I don't wish that on very many people, but I hope that they no longer are a doctor. I hope, th I hope, that, I hope that they're struggling. Women waist trainer vest slim corset neoprene sauna tank top zipper weight loss body shaper shirt. This is one of my favorite pictures. It's so funny. How did they think they could get away with this? That like stomach is straight from like a fitness magazine. And then that like cleavage is from some random Amazon ad. This is probably an Amazon ad. And then there are two different arms. They've just like Cut and it looks like they've cut and pasted things from a magazine and built a person. No one is buying that this is a real person. I don't know how someone edited this and was like, yeah, no, that's a person. They've never seen a person ever. Usually it's they've never seen a woman ever. This is just a they have never seen another human being ever and they really need to go outside and get a new job because this one's not working for them. <laughs> They tried. Not really. They didn't really try. I don't know what they were trying to achieve here. They were like, these are nice boobs. This is a nice stomach. And these are some good arms. Why don't we just put them all together? That's not how, that's not how it works. This isn't the movie Robots that I remember one scene of. It's got so much childhood attached to it. I don't remember a single thing from that movie, but I know every rainy day it was played at school. Touch both sides for added enjoyment. P.S. Fisto. And it is a woman with boobs on her front and her back because playing PlayStation is the same as touching boobs. <laughs> That's what we learn here. Boobs and PlayStation are one and the same. Why touch boobs if you could have PlayStation? What's better than video games? Boobs. How do we sell our video game console? We say it's like boobs. It's like, you know what's better than two boobs? Four boobs. And you know what's better than that? PlayStation Vista. <laughs> I can't believe this is a real ad that actually existed. That's hilarious. Whoever came up with this campaign, I have no words. So I had to take a psych study and it was asking me this. Hold on, let me get a picture. Uh, I don't know how to describe these. I try to explain the picture I'm looking at in case there are people who are like visually impaired watching my videos, but I genuinely don't quite know how to explain these images. I'll try my best. So it's three pictures of the same woman, but in the first one, she has like a concave uh, genital area, as the next line says, with like a like relatively big butt. And then the second one is a very flat front with the same butt. And then the last one is a very flat front with a big butt that's in the wrong place. And she looks like a musical, like a crotchet, like a crotchet note. Or I think in the US you call it a whole note. I just checked and uh, you call it a quarter note. A whole note is the semi brave. But I'm really confused by this because you don't say a quarter, you say a fourth. So why isn't it called a fourth note? You guys are weird, you make no sense use the right words for things. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. This is a legitimate study at a legitimate university. Hmm, which to choose? Concave genital area or thigh butt? And the last one was my first and only response, which is what the fuck is going on? Who made this and thought any of these looked like a real, actual, normal human being? Why was the university running this study? Even if they did look like real people, it's a very strange study. That's a weird study, right? Yeah, I get it, I guess, if it's in terms of, like, beauty standards. And if you do want every few years to see how the expectations of women change, which is fucked up that that happens. But you would use pictures of, like... Real women? Real women. <laughs> and 
and not just someone whose butt is photoshopped wrong. This looks like a child drew something in crayon and someone turned it into a picture. You know that one person who does that? They get like child drawings of animals and then they like photoshop an animal to actually look like it. That looks like what's happened here. There's a child drew a person and someone turned it into a person. Except a child would draw it better. Passion dust. Intimacy capsules. The pretty little pill that makes you magically delicious and you put a capsule into your vagina an hour before sex of any kind and it dissolves and turns into like glitter glue. And this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. I absolutely despise this with my entire being. I saw this and I wanted, I, no, don't do this. Don't put glitter into your vagina. I don't care how food safe or whatever it is. Don't do that. Why does this exist? Who needs this? Who asked for this? Why do you want this? That would firstly feel so weird. I have so many questions, but it's just one question and it's why. And who came up with it? And why? <laughs> if you didn't tell your partner you were going to put a glitter capsule in your vagina and then, and then they saw that, I think they would like freak the fuck out. Especially imagine if it's like a one night stand and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna do this to like impress them and make them think I have like a magic vagina. They're not gonna think that. They're going to like going to freak the fuck out. I would freak out if I was with someone and I saw that I would I, I would not know what to do. I would never talk to them ever again though. I don't I don't think I, I don't think I would see them again. So many things wrong with this. I, I I'm with that I think I'm gonna end it here. I can't take any more of this. I've been here too long. I spent too long looking at these posts. I can't do it anymore. Uh, before I go, these t-shirts are still for sale. My kiwi and my frog. I've got my range of pride kiwi tees and my little tuatara in a cowboy hat available on insectumclothing.com. If you want to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. Um, it's a collaboration with a small and sustainable business and... Yeah, if you want some cute t-shirts that support me and a small business, as well as a New Zealand conservation charity organization, then go check them out. A massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons, whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge thank you to my Kiwi Cat patrons. Wolf, Rosa, Talusk, Bobby, Sparrow, Josh, Mandy, Robbie, Christy, and Ikazel Zare. I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm here relatively regularly. My schedule's a bit all over the place at the moment because I'm traveling. We're traveling a lot for the next couple months. Uh, we're about to do two weeks of traveling New Zealand and then we're going to Australia for three weeks and then we're going to the US for three weeks and then we're going to Gibraltar for a few days and then finally we'll be back in London in August. Oh my god, that's a long time that we're away for. We left in March. Anyway, with that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the Queer Kiwi, and Twitter, that Queer Kiwi. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah.